Yo guys, what up, what up? Good morning from beautiful Bahrain. Um, I got here last night. I road tripped across Kuwait through Saudi Arabia uh, to arrive here in Bahrain. Um, I got here pretty late last night. So I just kind of like showed up and then, you know, got a, uh, got a hotel, a nice little hotel. Um, I'll show you where I'm staying. It's for 30 BD a night, which is like 25, uh, maybe 25 KD, which is around, I'd say like 70 bucks. It's not bad at all. It's right here. You got a living room, living room, you got a full kitchen. Bathroom, shower, bedroom. Not bad, not bad for 70 bucks a night. In the States, you'd be hard pressed to find something like that. But uh, yeah, so the plan is, we're in Bahrain. I'm gonna go explore, see what we can get into. Maybe go check out the old soup, go check out a couple other things, and just have a good time. Let's go. All right, guys. Just just got to the car. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and try. I'm I'm super hungry. I haven't eaten. I barely ate anything last night. So I'm gonna go try and find this uh, this kebab place that. Ever since I ate there, I ate there about two years ago, or year, yeah, maybe like two or three years ago. Ever since I ate there, I've been craving these kebabs. They're delicious. It's 1 p.m. I don't know if they serve kebabs right now, but I'm gonna go try and see if uh, if I can find that place, if it's open, if they're serving kebabs. If not, I'll find something else to eat and then uh, probably go check out the old souk first. Oh man, it tastes horrible. I gotta take my supplements, get my supplements on deck. Even while road tripping, I got my ginkgo. I got my Shilajit, Shilajit right there, yeah. I got my Bacopa, and I got my black seed oil. I got the essentials, I but I actually forgot the raw cacao and the honey. That's that's mandatory. I've been craving a cacao drink so bad. But yeah, I'm gonna take these and then be on be on my way. to find the uh, the place the delicious food let's go see what's up with it so this place is the spot right here Uruk I think it's Uruk you you are UK here Yeah, we're in Manama, Uruk restaurant. You got the, it's like a bean soup, uh, okra soup, put them on top of the kebabs, take a bite of the rice with the kebab, with the soup, it's delicious, so delicious, I'm gonna dig in right now. So check it out, I'll show you how it's done. Mm -hmm. 
And before that, you get the kebabs with the with the lemon. Like that. <clears throat> Alright guys. Finished up that meal, which was extra delicious. I've been craving that meal for a couple years to be honest. But now we're gonna go check out uh, an ancient fort uh, here in Bahrain. It is um, it was it started being built initially in 2300 BC and it was the capital at one point of an ancient civilization I believe it's called the Dilmun civilization so we're gonna go check that out seems we have arrived I've stopped here because I've seen a gate here but uh, I think it's up the road a little further to the actual fort itself I might walk up that way here it says Qala'at al Bahrain ancient harbor and capital of Dilmun world heritage site See, we got the gulf over there and we got the fort way out in the distance. So we've arrived at the fort itself. I'm gonna walk up in this gate and check it out. They got a bunch of information written down over here about all the different periods. So you already know I'm not gonna bore you with it, but I'm gonna stop and read all this stuff real quick. So there it says that they've even found Sumerian clay tablets, which describe trading activities with the Dilmun, which is the, where this ancient civilization was this was the capital right here so in other words this place is really old it has a lot of history
It's a pretty cool spot though. Last time I came here, I think it was closed or I don't remember the exact reason, but I couldn't actually come in here. So it's super cool, super interesting to see all this stuff. Some guy just got busted doing something. I'm not sure what he got busted doing, but security's chasing him. All right, we finished up there. Now, off to the next location. I gotta check the itinerary, figure out where that's at. But uh, yeah, super windy out here. It feels really good. Like warm weather, but it's like windy, so you got the wind chill. It's pretty nice. All right, so now that uh, I finished up there, I think I'm gonna go check out, uh, it's called Bab al Bahrain. It's like the old souk, like an old market. It opens up at four from uh, what I can tell. So it's like 3.30 now. Probably just gonna cruise around a little bit and then head over there and check it out. guys so behind me we have Bab al Bahrain that's the entrance we're gonna walk through and check out the market I gotta, I gotta check these helmets out right here. Thank you. <laughs> so that last shot was pretty cool. They had uh, these crazy helmets. I've never seen helmets that realistic before like uh, old war like spartan helmets and uh various different types and then they had some chest pieces like uh they had some cool camel bone ones but uh i think the dude was getting kind of sick of me filming in there and he knew i wasn't really gonna buy anything so yeah it's a pretty cool area though Some dude was selling a tea over here, like 200 pills. It's called Karak tea. It has like a uh, hail with black tea. Or hail, I think it's called, I don't, I'm not sure what it's called in English. Hail with black tea. And uh, it's pretty, pretty tasty. Crystal shop, looks like there's a bunch of stones. A huge piece of turquoise. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna turn around and walk down one of these side streets. Check check some of them out, see what's going on down there. It's a pretty cool area. Got some interesting things. Yeah, not too bad. Got the delicious, delicious pomegranate juice. Oh, <sighs> So now I think I'm gonna roll out from here. And I'm going to um, head back to Jofer and I'm gonna look for uh, a place to stay for the night. So I got my luggage in the car. I still don't got a hotel, so I gotta go find a place to stay for the night. All right guys, so I got a studio here at Swan Tower, Swan Towers Hotel. See, when you're in Bahrain, you gotta negotiate a little bit with the price. At first, he was telling me 30 BD. Got it down to 25 BD. I checked out the room. It's pretty sick, especially for 25 BD. Can't complain. Show it to you guys right now. Let's see, 2703. Right here. Got the, got the chill area right here, got the little living room. It's a studio, so you know, but it's the living room. The TV, got the bedroom, got the nice blue color scheme, nice clean bathroom. You know, you know, that's, you know, that's all right. That's all right, not, not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, I'm gonna get ready right now. Um, I, one of my friends from Kuwait, one of my martial arts buddies, he happened to be in Bahrain right now. So I'm a, we, I talked to him a little bit earlier. We decided we're gonna meet up. So I'm gonna get ready and then uh, hit him up and then uh, meet up with him and we're gonna see what we get into. Do what you want. All right guys, so just finished up in there. Had a pretty good chill session. We're, we're gonna go check out a hotel. It's called Apollo, I think it's a hotel. It's in Jofer. And uh, we're gonna see what's going on over there. It's supposedly some, night, some nightlife stuff. So we're gonna go check it out right now. Apollo closed right over here. Check it out. Guys, what up, what up? 
So, made it back to the hotel. We had a good old time shooting some pool and uh, listening to some music. Um, but for tonight, I think I'm gonna crash out. Pretty tired. It's like uh, 1.50 right now. So I'm gonna crash out, get some sleep, and gonna have to see what I get into tomorrow. I'm not quite sure yet. Gonna probably search around, see if I hear of anything good, and yeah, hit it up tomorrow. Catch you guys later. Peace.